There you go. Okay, I just realized I was starting the collage, but I'm going to quickly explain my process with the loud meatloaf in the background of what I'm doing. So, um, so that might be interesting. I'll be very quick. This, I had laid out the background. So I um, looked at all the pieces and chose what I was going to do, and then I laid out, which took a while, playing around with the pieces, getting them where I wanted, and what I do is I put them on one piece of paper, the size that I want to do, and then I cut out a second piece, and I have to transfer piece by piece the pieces from this piece to this piece. And it's an intricate process because of the way that they're layered. I have to determine which order to put the pieces in, depending on which way they're layered and getting them out. And just so you know, for the process, and I, kind of, I have to be in a rhythm because I frequently make adjustments and improvisations, and I use yes paste, and so what I do, um, for example, the next piece that I'm going to put on is this back piece here because it is behind everything else, and see I have to hold those pieces out. Then I have shut up, you 18 pound cat. Anyway, then I have all this recycled paper that I saved to use for collaging because when I apply the yes paste, it's very sticky, I need a clean surface and have to keep changing out the paper. So I save the paper that I read from articles and stuff, like, what was this? So <laughs> this was the work of art in the age of mechanical reproduction by Walter Benjamin. How perfect is that to use this for my collages? As notes and stuff that I wrote on it, I printed it out from the internet for something I was writing. And um, I save giant stacks of that, because I'm always reading these articles. I don't like to read things on the internet that are too long because it kills my eyes. So I always have these giant stacks of articles. I read them, then I use these for collages. So I'm going to put this piece on. It goes up in this corner. You here. This cat wants to make an appearance. Come here. Better? Better? Apparently, he says he needs to be part of the picture. 18 pounds, I'm telling you, of sheer baby. Okay. So, just to let you know how the process works, I take the piece, and I put it on a clean piece of recycled paper. I get the yes paste. The stuff is incredible. Mm -hmm. And I have a series of brushes that I use to smooth it nice and even across the back. This is my real high-tech procedure here, guys. Nice and even. Then I take it and apply it where it's going to go on the piece. And make an adjustment. Sometimes, actually, I just realized I did it the wrong way. I want the black on the outside. So, I can peel it off. Then I have, I keep a wipe, like a handy wipe, huggy wipe around. I wipe the sticky off my fingers because they get sticky. I keep a dry cloth. And I smooth down very carefully with the dry cloth along the edges. If a little bit of extra sticky gets on it, I can gently wipe it and dry it. So everything has to be very smooth and very even. Yes, paste doesn't buckle at all. So what I'm going to do now, I just thought that might be interesting. I'm going to now finish the background and then I'll scan it. See you later. And 18 pounds, I'm telling you. 18 pounds of nuisance. And he's just a big boy. Big baby. He says, I want to be a star. I want to be a star. I want to be a star. Silly animal, look at him. One more kitty star over here in the distance is the Punka Monster with her elegant paw. She was very upset that I uh, didn't include her in the video, so we had to say she was also very much a part of the artistic process. Process. Part of the artistic process. It's focused.